Jenna Ellis is with us as long as Rashad Richie. And Jenna, I want to go to you on, on this first. Uh, you know, it's a great trade deal. Nancy Pelosi knows it's a great trade deal. Uh, and it looks like at the very least now it's going to be pushed off maybe until next year. That roiled the market last week because everyone's wondering why would the Democrats drag their feet on this one? Yeah, well, and the Democrats are dragging their feet on everything because they're forgetting that they're actually in Congress, which because we have a separation of powers and all legislative authority is given to uh, Congress and the legislative branch, they actually have to work with President Trump. But they are uh, wasting the taxpayers' money on all of this impeachment inquiry circus, on so many things just to antagonize President Trump that they're forgetting to do their job. So circling back to Michael Bloomberg, my advice to him is if he really wants to make a difference, maybe he should run for Congress as a Democrat and actually get something done. Well, let me might, push back on that. Good, Rashad. Just a little bit. So first off, it's not the majority of Democrats. I actually think most Democrats will vote in favor of this bill once they work out some of the language and details. Nancy Pelosi should allow for a vote. I don't stand with her on blocking the vote entirely. But when you have a talking point that summarily dismisses the entire Democratic Congress and say that they are inactive, that is simply untrue to the narrative. There are a lot of Democrats who are pro-union and pro this deal, and they will vote for it right. if it what actually comes doing, to a floor. Well, what are they doing, that, that does, though, get to the grandstanding part. I do want to ask you about this, because Mayor Bloomberg, and part of his advertising now already, Rashad, is that he's a doer. He gets things done. President Trump has gotten a lot of things done uh, since he's been in office, and it feels like this is one of these big uh, gets that you acknowledge a lot of folks want to see done on both sides of the aisle. Farmers want to see it. Small businesses want to see it. Uh, you know, it's, there's a political calculus, though, to, to Jenna's point, that does impact the rest of the Democratic Party if it's not done. Well, it does, and that is the unfortunate case of tribalism in our political narrative today, Charles, and I disagree with it. I think we should have more independent thinkers on both sides of the political aisle. Bloomberg is getting into this race because right now 70 percent of Democrats are saying that it is more important that somebody is electable against Trump than to have someone who is an expression of all of their ideological values. But only 4 percent of Democrats are saying that Bloomberg is their number one choice. And when you look at some of the other polling data, while independents are losing uh, are losing steam as it relates to the impeachment. Most independents in that same poll, Charles, said that they believe the president is corrupt. They think he abused his power in order to sway the 2020 election. What but you see in that poll is that they want uh, us, or Americans, to deal with things like deficit, health care, sure. and other items. Sure. That is why that poll came out, and that's why independents are saying, let's hold up on this impeachment until we can get these but other things right in the Rashad country. independents, Rashad, and a third of Democrats also want Biden investigated, and that's actually the, the point that came out of the impeachment inquiry hearing. President Trump's approval ratings have been the highest ever since that sham ended. There was nothing yeah, whatsoever beyond not speculation, hearsay, no. and absolutely nothing. Well, well, I think both, I think all three of us, in fact, agree, though. It feels like the American people more focused on what's happening right now with the economy. Uh, the impeachment thing is uh, we're getting fatigued with, with it all, I think. And it's a great time to be an American. We got Thanksgiving this week. We got Christmas yep. next year, next month, Hanukkah. So we're going to end it on a happy note. Jenna and Rashad, thank you both very much. Thanks.